Okay. All right, so now we're going to jump into a series of presentations from ICF International on the BDCP effects analysis. And so will you be presenting from the podium? Okay. So I'll ask that the ICF presenters introduce themselves before they start into their portions of the presentation, um, just so the panel knows who's addressing them. So there. All right. So I'll turn it over. This is. We have some introduction slides, so I'm happy to go through them if you'd like first, or. Oh, sure. If you, I, I haven't seen them. So. <laughs> All right. Good morning. I'm um, the project manager for the effects analysis. So we just have a few intro slides um, that probably have already been um, brought up um, by our previous speakers. But just really quickly, um, uh, there was a briefing on December 18th that went over some of the changes that we um, that we wanted to introduce to you as part of your review. And um, we'll be going over now in these presentations more of some of the specific items in the, your charge sheet and um, diving deeper into some of the technical and scientific issues so that um, we have an opportunity to have a dialogue around those as part of your review. So just a quick review for those that um, perhaps did not attend the last briefing. Um, we made revisions to the proposed project, including the operations. We changed the terrestrial effects analysis and the aquatics effects analysis in response to those changes in the project, but also in response to your comments and comments from the fish agencies and wildlife agencies as well. Um, that particular briefing um, was also webcasted and is available on the Delta Science Program's website for those that are interested in getting a um, more thorough overview of, of what those changes look like. So um, as a reminder, um, the panel's charge is to assess the effects analysis. So we're going to be talking a lot about Chapter 5. Um, Laura King Moon just described some of the changes that are in the actual proposal, which is Chapter 3, and they obviously go hand in hand. But today we're going to be focused on how we've analyzed those changes. Um, so today, this is the um, general topics. These are listed on the agenda. Um, Ellen will be um, describing some of the Sandhill Crane issues regarding how the conservation strategy has changed specifically and then how the effects analysis has responded to that. Uh, the panel posed a question regarding how the changes in the Clifton Court 4 Bay were analyzed, and so we'll be giving a presentation on um, that analysis. And then we're going to spend a lot of um, the early morning, or the late morning, excuse me, going over um, a really big topic that um, we've been spending a lot of time on, and I know is um, of utmost interest to both um, National Marine Fisheries Service and the Department of Fish and Wildlife regarding how the North Delta will behave under change conditions that include um, climate change, the new proposed intakes, and the restoration. So we've got um, our, our um, staff here to help really dive into that topic as much as possible. We'll be going over the restoration effects, which was a very um, um, common uh, thread of co um, comments from multiple people, including the panel, um, and, and how those restoration effects were assessed and what we've done to improve upon that analysis. We'll also be giving you in the afternoon a presentation of the upstream effects, and we'll be focused primarily on the Feather River and the Upper Sacramento River, where most of the um, I th uh, disagreement, I guess, or and um, uncertainty in how to interpret the results we're seeing. So really looking for your input there. And then we'll be talking about um, how we've delineated the downstream area of the plan area, which was a com um, question specifically posed by the panel. And um, at the end of the day, we'll be going over how we actually analyze the decision tree. So we talked about what that was in the last briefing. Laura King Moon just mentioned it as an important component of the proposal, and I'll be going over how we've actually analyzed that. And then we'll wrap it up with a description of how we've actually conducted the net effects for um, the fish assessment. So with that, um, we'll start with the sandhill crane, unless there's any specific questions for me before we dive into these topics. 